So for this assignment, make sure that you're putting your title at the top, uh, putting in the example we practiced, your signature and your date. Don't forget to put that, of course, in your table of contents, isometric sketching. And then you've got your isometric sketches. So I wanted to show you some quick steps on that if you're having some trouble. Remember to work with this, all you're doing is counting. The top box is a three by three box. And you just count, it goes down three. It goes forward five. Just count and go in the same direction. It doesn't matter who draws it, they all will be the exact same size. Now, for parts that are going up and down, it follows these lines. Notice that the parts that are for width are going left and right here, and the parts that are for depth are going forward and back. So make sure that you get the right size. Anything that you draw that goes in this direction is wrong. That's not any direction on an isometric it would be following this pathway, especially for these examples that we're doing that are rather boxy. All right, I wanna give you a hint real quick. I drew that real quick just to get to the next one. For the next part, you have a diagonal part. And to draw that, you need to get all of the boxy part done first. So get this three by two drawn, it goes down four units forward three, two, three, and then you have this front part here. I'm drawing this piece here. So I'm drawing all of the parts that I can draw. I don't know how high this goes and I don't know how high this goes, but I do know that I can start here and end here and that will be my diagonal surface. And then I can do the same thing. I move over one and I can draw a diagonal line here and move over two and I can draw those diagonal lines. And then this tells me how high this goes here and here and here. And then go for the shading. And check out my other video for the A.